Hey, welcome back to a brand new video. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm so nervous. I haven't done this in a long time. Anyways, um, as you guys can see, there's been a lot of changes in my life. Got longer hair. It's kind of put up right now, I think. Yeah, basically kind of put up. It, it's pretty long, but haven't done this in a long, long time. Uh, I think like I first started probably five years ago. Went for that little time span and I stopped. Um, if you guys hear any cars in the background, I'm sorry about that. I'm kind of on a, I live on a busy street, but as you guys saw by the title and the thumbnail, today's video is going to be a little apartment tour of myself, my my own apartment. 20 years old. Um, I'm financially sound, you know, I'm not rich, not poor, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm now, if many of you are followers of the channel and you've been with me since day one, you guys know that I have been gone for a very long time. And I'm not gonna bore any newcomers at the beginning of this video with the story of where I was, what happened, you know, kind of where I've been at in life. But if you guys do wanna see that at the end of the video, maybe I'll do it, maybe I'll do it in another video. All right, pretty much, it, super simple, I got very, fortunate finding this place it is not very expensive it's 685 that includes water um, this place is all electric so no gas or anything but the stove is electric AC and stuff is electric and I'll show you guys that that is really good only thing it came with was a fridge and I'll take this off the tripod in just a moment but I'm just gonna explain everything go through it real fast um, it came with a fridge Came with a washer dryer hookup, no washer and dryer, but it come, came with the hookup. It is $685 a month, and that also includes lawn care, so I don't have to mow at all, which is very nice. Now, it's not your typical apartment. It is shared with another home. It's uh, one building with two homes, pretty much how it is, um, but I just call it apartment because it's easier, easier to understand. It's just not in one apartment building, one bigger building. One big building, like people are used to. Um, it is on a busy street, but not super duper crazy busy. I do live in a small town, but it's not bad. It's very quiet. I walk to the mailbox most of the time. I got a pool right across the street that I can go to, the city pool. Um, it's a really nice place. Uh, it's not too far from where my parents used to live, but just trying to uh, expand my horizon, get out there, do, do different things that I haven't done in a long time, new things, try new things. I'm tired of being in this rat race, and I'm just trying to figure out new things to do new paths to go. I'm trying to figure out myself as well as my life and my future endeavors and stuff like that. With all this boring stuff, let's get into the tour. So this right here is the front door. Um, this is where I was recording. I had my camera mounted on the tripod and facing me because the light obviously was the greatest. Got a little welcome home mat so you can wipe your shoes off um, as soon as you walk in the door. It's one of the electric doors so you don't need a key. You just type in the code. Microwave, which is beautiful. Only $70 and it looks so amazing. We got my tortillas. We got lots of cabinet space in here. But as you can see, I tried to keep it very clean and very minimal. Um, I don't want to attract any bugs or anything. I hate bugs and I don't like clutter. Taking it further, we got the back area, which I'll go to in just a moment. We'll take a look in the fridge of a 20 year old's fridge. Got the freezer up top and the regular fridge down below. Got juice, um, No, not really any soda other than that. Right next to the fridge, we have the pantry right here. Kind of blends in. I usually keep it open, but for the video, I wanted to keep it closed so I can show you guys, give you that awesome reveal. Not much space, but up top we got dog treats. I don't have a dog, I ramen. We got the chips, and then we just got some extra stuff right there to cook. We got rice, uh, we got mac and cheese, noodles, soups, stuff like that, super simple. Bringing it to the back, we got the trash can. Let me go ahead and turn the light on, which unfortunately is all the way at the end. We've got a little storage space right here. 
Got my uh, motorcycle stand right here. If you guys do want to see any videos on that, just let me know. Just got some tools, oil, gas. Um, my dad told me to keep this skateboard. I've had this for a very long time. You followers of the channel know exactly what skateboard this is. Washer and dryer. Thank you to my mother and father. They have supported me so much. They actually handed down this washer and dryer to me because they recently moved, which I am so, so thankful for. But that is it pretty much for this section. Now we'll move on to the living room. Greatest area of all. When you walk in, this is what you see, you remember? But if you take a right, this is what you'll see. First, we got the gaming setup, which is the best part of it. We got just a couple things. We got a picture book um, with great memories in it of me and my girlfriend, me and a couple friends. Got my motorcycle helmet, got my motorcycle gloves. Got some really dope Funko Pops. An awesome picture. And this right here, one of the coolest things at all, of all, a coworker of mine, he actually scratched this. This is like scratch art. When you scratch it, it turns colorful. And I thought it was super cool. I had him do it for me. It was awesome. So I'm gonna keep that as long as I can. This bad boy from Six Flags, Devin, he actually got this for me. I unfortunately didn't get to go, but he got this as a little gift for me. Bada boom, bada bing. We're just gonna go through it quickly. If you guys do want a tour, um, you guys want to know exactly what I have, just let me know and I'll do that, no problem. Maybe. Got my keyboard, stuff like that. I have the Series X, of course, because I'm balling. I'm not balling, but I've um, got, so, got a little notebook here for me to write stuff down in. Got some candy. Got my PC down there. If you guys do want a gaming uh, set of video, just let me know and I'll try and get that for you guys. Then we got the main section of the living room. We got the couch, which is also a hand-me-down for my parents, which I am so, so thankful for. We got the book I'm currently reading, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It is awesome so far and I really love it. I just started reading it and I'm already on page 65. I'm not a huge reader, but I wanted to really grow and develop and learn about money, about life, and kind of how to get out of the rat race and that is very inspirational, very helpful. It gives me a completely different view and I would definitely recommend reading it to anybody that hasn't yet. I'm only 65 pages in, but it's it's an awesome book. Back over by the front door, I kind of forgot to show you guys, but this is where I keep my shoes. Got my uh, regular shoes, my daily shoes, which is a Crocs, and I got my motorcycle shoes, as you can see. Um, I got my slippers on, I wear these in the house. I wear them in the house to try and keep the floor a little bit cleaner, because um, I don't want to be tracking all the dirt and debris from outside, especially if it's been raining or something like that. Get your feet all nasty, dirty, and seasoned, and that's what I don't want. But this is what it looks like. It looks really nice, but it gets your feet really gross. Moving on to the entertainment piece. We have my TV. Uh, I believe it's a 55 inch or 50, I think it's 50 inch Roku TV. I have my Funko Pop collection, as you guys can see. I kind of stopped collecting them, but my girlfriend got me this pop, which I absolutely love. It's a mini, Baby Groot, and I had to take it out of the box. It kind of ties this whole thing in together, and I, I think it's a great centerpiece. I also have more Funko Pops behind those. Um, not too many more, but I had to style it like that so that I had enough room to fit them all everywhere. If you guys do want to know more about that stuff, I could definitely do a video on that. Then coming into my bedroom, the lighting in here is not great, because I do have the blackout curtains, which I believe does help me sleep a lot better, because my bed is here, and the light shines right onto my face as soon as, as soon as it comes up, and sometimes I work late nights. Let me step out just a little bit so you guys can get a better view. I like to keep everything minimal. I like to keep cords hidden. Um, awesome, awesome bed. My eyesore of a dresser, which is okay. Got my closet here to the left. Not much in here, just got dirty clothes, boxes. I work at Freddy's, so I got a ton of Freddy's clothes. That's pretty much it for the closet. Super simple, nothing really spectacular in there. Then on my dresser, um, just, just an old dresser that I've had. My brother used to have, he was a, a young lad. Just got my laptop, um, just some essentials. Got the pictures of me and the girlfriend, stuff like that. Then I got the bathroom over there, which I'm really not gonna show. I'm not gonna show the bathroom for obvious reasons. Um, nobody really cares about a bathroom. It's where you do your business, you get cleaned up. No one's really interested in that stuff, and I'm not too interested in showing it. It's not dirty or anything. As you can see, I'm, I'm a pretty clean person, but it's just not my thing to show it. So now, we're back in the kitchen area, the main room that I've been recording in. Back on the tripod. As you guys saw, that was pretty much the whole apartment. 
It's not small, it's not too big, but it, it's very comfortable living. I'm not bank, breaking the bank paying for this, and I actually got very lucky that I found it because this place is, I believe is pretty nice, and it's actually less expensive than most places in the surrounding areas. So I really, I really got a home run with this one. But yes, I do actually have a motorcycle now. I have a different car from when I was doing YouTube a while ago. But if you guys definitely want videos of those, videos of me racing on the motorcycle, I'll definitely, I'll definitely try and get some of those for you. Because if you guys are interested in that, I'm definitely gonna be interested in recording because I'd be dusting some cars, yo. Anyways, if you guys do want an update video of kind of what, what went on in my life in the four years that I've been gone, I can definitely do a video on that, update you guys. If you guys are interested, Honestly, it doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. Just comment down below what you want some videos on next. We got the motorcycle, we got the life update, the gaming setup, stuff like that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long. I can't promise you that there will be a next video, but it just depends. You know, with me, there's no telling. I change my mind about things. I'm interested in things differently every single day. But that is all for today. Feel free to comment down below. I love interactions. I will do my best to make that happen. Peace.